So today's video is gonna be um, kind of more of a tutorial type video. I've actually gotten questions about this and it's kind of a new skill I have. So I'm gonna show you how I do my dip nails at home. I'm about to redo these because I'm just honestly not a big fan of these. I think I wanna go for a more neutral color. I thought I wanted red sparkly for like Christmas, but I'm gonna show you like the basis of how I do my nails, what I use, all that type of stuff. So. I'm gonna take these off. I'm not gonna show you that process because it's a whole nother process. It takes forever. Completely my least favorite part of doing this. So let me get these off and I'll be back. Okay, I am back. That took so long. Let me show you everything that I use because it's a lot. When you first start doing your nails at home, obviously it's gonna like, you're gonna have to get all the stuff for it, but in the long run, you save so much money. First of all, I got like a big, Kit. This is the nail drill. It comes with a lot of different tips and then different colors I think there's different colors you can get and then um, a big one of these It's the, just the fast drying dip powder, which I've learned to just use the big fast drying dip powder rather than the colors because it just this is just a lot easier to work with and then i can just paint my nails with regular nail polish when i'm done so much easier and then you can get cheap nail polish and then it still looks like your nails are like really nice the kit that i have it came with all of these things there's the base that you use the activator and the top coat and then i think there was like a brush saver one i don't use that though but i just keep everything in this bin with all the colors you don't have to use tips I guess but my nails are really short and stubby so I use tips I just got these off of Amazon everything I got is off of Amazon there's clear ones which I think I'm actually gonna use today I haven't used the clear ones yet and then just like the natural nail looking ones this you don't have to have but I find it makes the process a lot quicker it's just like a nail cutter oh and then glue for your nail tips and i just use the kiss brush on nail glue because i think the brush on is so easy so i trimmed and just filed my nails and i buffed them with this tip you can do the same thing with the file so now i'm gonna match the sides for all of my nails Obviously, my nails are not gonna be this long, um, so it's time to trim them. That's when this thing comes in handy because it just makes it so quick and it gets them really nicely. Obviously, once I cut them, that's not gonna be the shape of them, but it just makes it really nice and it's super sharp. what I think is the hardest part I would say is the hardest part it's the most boring part and time-consuming I'm gonna plug this in I am using this tip and I'm going to kind of like file it down just like from where my natural nail hits the tip there's just like a little hill and if you don't file it down which I've made that mistake um, it makes a hill when you have your actual nails um, like all completed Now we're finally to the dipping portion. So I have the first step and it's the base step. So basically you just paint it on like nail polish, just a thin layer, dip it, tap off the excess and you repeat that like I would say three times per nail, just thin layers, three times, like three coats.
I now have three layers on this hand and they're thin, so it's that's three layers sounds like a lot, but it's it's really not. Then I'm gonna put this activator on so it actually hardens up. It's obviously a step you cannot forget. And I'm pretty generous and not super accurate with this. So yeah, if you did it right, once you actually get to um, evening it out with the drill, you shouldn't have to do much to it. But now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other hand and then I'll be back. Nails have all of the base down and everything. Now I just need to go in and lightly just drill them to make them all smooth and even before we put the top coat on. But I changed the tip to this one. Alright guys, I just spent way too much time trying to put a design on my nails. That's the thing with doing them at home. It's like, I just can't try to do like a cute design. I'm just gonna paint my nails brown because I love neutral colors. I've noticed that when I try to do colors, like I just don't like them as much. I have this dark brown and I have this like medium brown and this very light pumpkin-y one. So I feel like the medium brown is where I'm, yeah. The medium brown is what I'm gonna do. It's the Essie Quick Dry Nail Color, and it's in the shade Cold Brew Crew. That's the color I'm gonna do because I love wearing gold jewelry, so brown just will go with it. So I'm just gonna paint them brown, and I'll be back. You literally just paint a couple coats over it, and then add a clear coat on the top, and then that's it. Okay, Paige is here, but I just finished my nails. That's how I do my nails at home, with dip. Have you guys learned something from it? Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Vlogmas videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!